fucking fire! We finished another game! We beat shit around here! We beat fucking video games, nigga! Do that. Or is my headphones loud? Which one is it? Okay, let me let me just make sure I talk pretty loud. <clears throat> Her story. Hey guys, it's your boy Kid Person Bosses with Lotion Let's Clean back with another video, and today we are here with Her Story, another uh choose your own adventure kind of game, and uh it's kinda like telling lies a little bit from what I, I can see so far. Okay. Cornerstone, DB344, a partial. You are logged in, authentic underscore guest. Enter Curry to access archive footage. Search terms, murder search. All right, uh, blank. It's 11 seconds, all right, let's go. You think it's murder? Mm. I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? She seems suspicious already. All right, <clears throat> we got that one. Oh, do we um add to a session? Oh, clips stored in session, okay. I'm just gonna add it to a session for everything I see. So this is a different yeah. day. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's take, let's take a notes. All right. You think it's mad? Can I pause it? Damn. You think it's mad? All right, this is 270694. All right, so this is 1994. Uh, why does it say 27? What, what does that mean? Is the dates backwards? Okay, wait. I'm gonna just assume that it's the 27th of the month and, and the month is 06. And 06 would be like what? It's mad. January, February, Clearly March, April, May, June. So June. What yeah, can June. I do to help? Okay, so June, June, June. June. Yeah? July, next That's month. Me. Okay. But February, I mean, that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Okay, so they're asking her about something they saw. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. So on the third day, they accuse her of murdering him. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Okay, so now she's luring up. Please. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. Okay. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. Okay, so she definitely killed him, but we're, we're gonna look for the evidence to uh, uh, criminalize her. Let's hear stories. What we got on stories. All right. Stories. Wait. Murder. Stories. What is this? Video. Sub anti. Okay. No. What is this text over here? It says read me. Computer technology, database uh, workflow, continue to be the most valuable. This database is something, testimony. Okay. This database contains footage transferred from existing homicide and serious crime tape archive at Portsmouth. It has been automatically stored using our ASR technology. Each statement made by the interview participants is stored separately so that they can be tagged for submission to court. The audio has been digitally stenographed and the content of the testimony is attached to each clip. To review a clip, type in a word, robbery, into the search field, click search, and the database will return all clips in which the speaker uses that word. To narrow a search, use multiple words, robbery, supermarket. If you are working from a printed transcript, you can be even more precise. Use inverted commas to search for an exact match against the entire statement. Yes, comma, I was there. To store a clip later for reference, add to click add to session. Also, if you wish to add additional tags of your own to help further to help future searches, please click in the user tags box and type your desired tags. For any uh, further assistance, please contact your department's information uh, information technology representative, police information technology. Okay, all right. 
hey, here's the database. I filled a freedom of uh, information form to get you to get you guest access. Everything seems to work. They transferred the videos off the original tapes in 1999, and the and then the Y2K thing hit and they got some mothball no one has touched touched them since i couldn't find the server with the detective's footage on possibly those tapes with the detective's footage on possibly those tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 1997 but figured this would be enough take your time sb what's sb the rubbish bin what is db checker when volume is that even mean? And then there's the clock. Okay, let's see the clock. Okay. Alright. I don't know how to tell that time, but okay. And what's the rubbish bin? Hack info. Whoa. The mirror game. Okay, so there's a, a game in here. Alright. Let's get to business. Alright. Let's go. It's okay. Sounds weird. Sounds weird. We're not great at making up stories. Wait, making up a story? Why are they asking her to make up a story? The fuck have they got going on? Yes. I read a lot as a child and watched lots of TV. Then the doll's house we had, we still have in the attic. It's kind of a fairy castle. We used to play up there and make up our own stories. Mm. So a dollhouse is a dollhouse, okay. Wait. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go back to that one. Fairy tales. Fairy tales, okay. Fairy tales. Stories about lost princesses, evil witches, magical mirrors, and lost children. So you see, even before I knew the truth, I'd found it in those stories. What? She said she found the truth in those stories. What does that mean? Wait, is this the same day? Yeah, bro, this is the same day. Okay. Is this putting it in, like... This is not putting it in chronological order, is it? Wait. Oh, seven. Excuse me. Oh, three. Three. Why is it not like it's not in order at all? But that's all right. Okay. Um. No, it was just me and her. Okay, her. Who was her? Eve was the name they were going to call their first child. Eve. They talked about it. Eve. I'm going to try when it came back. Florence's family had a history of firstborn girls, so they were convinced it was going to be a girl. Okay. Eve. Mm. It's hard to know if this is all true. These are stories I remember, that I read when I was a child. Maybe I misread. Maybe I misunderstood. <clears throat> <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to remember what happened last week. What happened last week? Alright, she's full of shit know that for sure all right that clip right there i think i need to start removing some of these uh, off of this um add to session thing but she is full of shit for sure for sure for sure let's play this yeah. i'm not sure where the dollhouse came from dollhouse her don't know if it was given to them or they inherited it I mean, they wouldn't have had the money to buy it was so huge. Okay. It must have been taken up to the attic in parts and then reassembled up there. The attic. It's a beautiful thing. Wallpaper to scale. Wallpaper. Little furniture. The lights work. Mirrors, beds, big duvets and pillows. Duvets. We spent hours and hours playing in it. We invented all these characters and families who lived there. We wrote paperwork for them all. Passports, diaries, and gave them all really elaborate stories. Once, a moth got trapped in there. 
we'd left a light on. It was making the most horrendous noise. We tried to kill it, but it was tough. We ended up crushing it under a copy of the Arabian Nights. What the fuck are y'all talking about? All right, let me review this clip. Well, matter, matter of fact, first thing that comes up to me, Eve. Who was Eve? Oh my God, okay. Uh, take note, this was 0307, so this is July 3rd, um, 90, uh, 1994. All right, let's play it. Well, my friend Eve. Okay. So this is the month before. Kids, and she was always more popular with the boys, and I used to hate her for it. I mean, really hate her sometimes. What? So you hated her? Yes. We'd fight. We fought on the beach once, and I held Eve's head underwater. What the fuck? There was no one else around. It was at the far end of the beach. And I held her head under and I kept it out. And for a moment, I just wanted to kill her and watch her drown. Bro, she's guilty. But that was it. It was just a moment. We made up afterwards. It was a love hate relationship. Nah, I don't know. They gotta uh, review some of these files. I hope she, did, was she found guilty? Access limited to the first five entries. Okay. A police station. Police station, you want to kill. Yeah, when I was young. We ran away on my birthday. You ran away? Bob Dylan was playing in London and we thought we could break into his tour bus and have him take us with him. The taxi driver we paid to drop us off. I mean, we'd save money, pinched a bit here and there to pay for the fare. He was suspicious because we were so young, so he told the police. So they came and picked us up and took me back to Portsmouth. My mum picked me up from the station. But I blamed everything on my friend Eve. My parents let me off. Damn, you're cold hearted. You're you're a dickhead. <sighs> okay, who was Hannah? <laughs> who was Hannah? Hannah. <sighs> who was she? Oh, is that her name? Hannah? H-A-N-N-A-H. They must have left. What is this? What the fuck is this? Hold on, bro. You're infinite. Yo, bro, that's a very distinct Simon, Hannah, Simon, Hannah. <laughs> oh, no, nah, this bitch is crooked. She's crooked. And this is back to the third. My mother called me Eve. Your mother called you Eve? Why did she call you Eve? Alright, uh, first things first, Simon, because I think Hannah's her name. Alright, this is what? Still, this is uh, June, earlier in June. Simon, Simon Smith. Okay. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work, mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. Okay. Really beautiful things. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, 
Um, Simon is six foot, darkish blonde hair, mm-hmm. average build. Mm-hmm. He's clean shaven. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, and bought a photo. They said a spring photo. Why do you have a photo of him now? This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. Damn, you know, so. The best one. I have. The best one. So, clearly, you, you. Yeah, clearly, you like you some Simon, bro. It's the Rockington Arms. The Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with. And the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. Hmm. Add that to the session. There's some interesting names in there. Yes. There's an Amstrad one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games. Why do you know so much? And uh, save the princess. That kind of thing. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Uh huh. Someone must have done something to him, or there must have been some kind of accident. So, what do we do next? You did it, bro. <laughs> you either did it or helped somebody do it. All right. <clears throat> there were some interesting names, I think, in this one. It's the Rockington Arms. The Rock. The Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. Okay, The Rock. Let's hear a little bit more about The Rock. <laughs> so, it was Friday evening. We had an argument. He left. Okay. On Saturday, he didn't come back. I waited all day. He was supposed to go help Eric out with something on the Saturday afternoon. They had a job. He didn't show. Okay. So Eric was ringing on the phone. Uh-huh. I checked at The Rock. That's our local. They said they'd seen him on the Friday night, but not since. Okay. He still wasn't back this morning. It just isn't like him at all. Yeah. Still not back by dinner time. It's getting dark again. What, did you, what was the so argument I about? I not see you. His parents haven't heard anything either. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. You decide to come see you. Is she, is she talking to the police or not? Who is she talking to? What? This is... Oh, God. I don't know. This is later on in the month I mean, of June. I guess The Rock. You've spoken to everyone there. Someone must have seen where he went. So he went missing. I don't know. So many things could have gone wrong. No. No one has been in the last few weeks. We had a plumber come in three, four weeks ago. Someone signed with you from The Rock. Okay, The Rock is, uh... The Rock just feels like an excuse right now. Simon isn't the time. Let me hear some of those names. It's the Rockington Arms. The Rock. The Rock. It's run by a nice couple. Peter Peter and Susan. Susan. Peter. Let's go to Peter. Peter. Let's do Susan. Let's do Hannah. All right, cool. New ones. Oh, shit. What the fuck? My name is Hannah. H-A-N-N-A-H. Okay. It's Poundre. Poundre. It reads the same backwards as forwards. Oh! It doesn't work from there. It's not quite symmetrical, but well, you get the idea. Okay, Hannah. Sorry. Hannah Smith. I live at 31 Gladstone Street. Wait a minute, what? Simon Smith, so that was her husband? <gasps> Sorry. Okay, I have a theory. Smith, I live at 31 Gladstone Street. Maybe, maybe Simon. 
Simon and Eve. That's what I'm going to be searching up next, bro. Yes. My name is Hannah Smith. There's a oh, lie detector. Shit. Sorry. What, what, what was that? What was that? Yes. My name is Hannah Smith. Oh. Shit. Sorry. Why did you, did you just lie? What are you saying sorry for? Did you lie? Across the road, where my parents first lived there, was a midwife called Florence. When Hannah was born, I was born at the same time. The midwife was there to help. I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. What? The midwife told my mother I was dead. What? But I wasn't. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. Amazing what people will admit to on paper. Okay, wait a minute. That's... Yo, what? Who's, who's, who's watching this footage? <laughs> who's watching this? Mm. She recognized me from the window. She told me to come inside and she hid me. Mm. They had made the attic into a place where Hannah could play. It was a dollhouse. So there's another Hannah. She hid me up there. No one else ever went into the attic. It was her place. Okay, so the attic, the dollhouse, Florence. Alright, um... Florence. Florence. I need to hear more. Florence took me home with her. Mother hadn't been expecting twins and had a healthy baby. I guess she was just happy for Florence to clean up. Okay. Take away the evidence that this was anything but a happy occasion. Hmm. What? Who was at this computer, bro? <laughs> who was at this computer? Who, who was here? Florence raised me in her home. I never left it. She kept me out of sight. It wasn't odd for people to see a midwife with a baby, carrying in supplies, washing nappies, that sort of thing. A midwife? I never knew any different. I grew up looking out of my window and seeing her across the road. I thought it was like a reflection in the mirror. Simon and Eve. She was me. What? Florence was a warm, kind person. But she was broken, I guess. Why? What'd she do? When I found her diary, I also found a biscuit tin with other stuff in it. Biscuit tin? Papers. Letters, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm sure good. Her story was in there. What was her story? I never really spoke to her about it. I was far too young to really understand. I guess I just put it together later, once I was older. She had loved children, planned to have a large family. But her husband died in the war. Oh, damn. And that was back when you married for life. She never felt like she could marry again. Mary. Isn't that strange? She was a widow from her twenties. Damn. That's a long time. Well, I mean, I guess it was different then. You know, you married for life and she felt she could never marry again. I guess it was harder, a war widow. One of the dead. I don't know. Maybe there was more to it than that. All I right. That. All right. I'm getting a, I'm getting a sense of something. It's an interesting one. I think I'm getting closer because this, this person keeps flashing against the screen. I'm gonna do Eve and Simon. Stuff. 
a stupid argument, nothing specific. Mm. No one knows how to push your buttons better than those you're close to. Mm. Okay, so this is the argument they, that they were actually having. What's next? A long time. We got married when I was 17. 17? Oh my fucking God. You ain't even got your shit together at 17. I got my shit together. I'm 21. Bro, what? <laughs> that was... Oh, man. That's crazy. Yeah. Something like that. You got married when you were 17. How old are you now? Okay, so she's definitely talking to a detective. Okay, 17. When you've been married for 10 years, stuff accumulates. We could argue about anything. But he's so nice. That doesn't help. He tries to smooth things over and that just makes it worse. Hmm. We're both passive aggressive, so we never normally argue directly about anything. Okay, that's that's kind of interesting. I don't know why, but that stands out to me a little bit. They're passive aggressive. I got pregnant. Ha! Both our parents had a big powwow. We weren't even in the room, and they decided we should get married. Mm. So you got married at seventeen because she got pregnant. Oh, sucky, sucky. Pregnant. Uh, some more on that. Let's go. Yes, I'm fine. No, you're not. I won't be sick again. Oh. This happened some days. I'm sick. pregnant. <gasps> this morning sickness. What? Wait a minute, 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 wait a goddamn minute. This was 2506.94. This was 27. Oh, so you got pregnant again? What? She got pregnant again? Hold on, guys. One second. Okay, so she, but did she get pregnant again by Simon? If she got pregnant again, does she even have kids? Was it a mis- Huh, let's see what's going on. Well, yes. You found out on my birthday. I told him I was pregnant. Her birthday. Okay, so her birthday is definitely gonna be something we're gonna have to look up. Her birthday. Okay. At that. It's Rapunzel. The story starts when she's born. Mother Gothel, a witch, takes Rapunzel from her parents and keeps her locked up in this tower. Mm -hmm. Rapunzel gets pregnant by the prince. Yeah. Mother Gothel is furious, so she cuts off her hair and throws it. Actually, my hair's already short here, so that's already happened. So she throws him into the wilderness, and Rapunzel is reunited with the prince, who's blind. But she kills him with her tears, and so it's a happy ending. Mm. Is that too much? What? Why are you telling these stories? It's a happy ending, Rapunzel's story. What? When I arrived in Glasgow, I was Glasgow, exhausted. Okay. The streets were empty. I was driving badly. And I hit a taxi. God damn. Not a big crash. Just paintwork. You cannot drive. The guy was so pissed off because I didn't have a driving license on me. Oh my god. But when I told him I was pregnant, he made sure I got to the hospital so they could check me out. Oh no. It was fine. Oh, was it fine? True. The hospital must have details when I was looked at. There's a scratch on the car. Or maybe you hit a nigga. Or maybe you hit Simon. Maybe you killed him. 
Yeah. Alright, what, what was, uh... I got pregnant. Okay, birthday. I think birthday was, uh... Birthday... Birthday... Alright, let's see. Yes, that's my birthday. When? When's your birthday? Not one of the big ones, but I guess you can see that. When's your birthday? It was my birthday, like you said. We were going to have a meal at home. We had our meal. He gave me his present. I guess I didn't like the present. Oh, until so you guys argued. Pre what was the present? From when I woke up. Okay. I, uh, I woke up. Simon was already up and he made me birthday breakfast of Eggs Benedict. Okay. Uh, we both had to go to work, so we saved presents to later. Um, wait, 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 wait. Got some birthday cake, children's family happy birthday. Wait, wait. Came home. The birthday meal was a takeaway. Wait. Um, and Simon gave me his present, which I didn't mind. And wait. after that, we talked about the baby. Turned into a big argument. Simon left. I was furious. I wanted to get as far away as I could and get some space to think. So you left? So I left. Mm. Uh, excuse me? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It was my birthday, like you said. We were going to have a meal at home. We had our meal. He gave me his present. I guess I didn't like the present. Okay, wait. This was 2506, so June 25th. This was two days later. She said that they, they had they had breakfast. When I woke up. Okay. So what did you change your story? I uh Oh yeah. I woke up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She just put it all together. Hmm. Let me think about this. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I, uh, oh yeah, she put the story together. Oh yeah, Sam's she she killed that nigga. She killed him. Breakfast or she killed his ass. Uh, we both had to go to work, so we saved presents to later. Presents. Um, I got to work, had some birthday What was cake, the present? Children sang me happy birthday, then I came home. The birthday meal was a takeaway, um, and Simon gave me his present, which I didn't mind. And after that, we talked about the baby. What was the present? What's this video? A week or so ago. It would have been the Saturday before my birthday. You know, I get like that on the weekends, have a lie in, then want to get up and blitz the house. Okay, what? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, what's the present? That's what my mind is on. What is the present? I mean, it wasn't the present so much. It was one of those arguments that had been simmering for a while. Okay. The present was a mirror. A nice mirror. He didn't grade the glass. The kind of mirror a princess would have in a story. He made it specially for me. So why didn't you... So, so what was wrong with the present? Because you don't seem like you were fucking with this present. And the mirror is a little bit, uh, what's going on with that mirror? Mm. She got a tattoo? Back eight years back. It was a present to myself. Oh. I shouldn't even be drinking coffee with the baby. It's been hard trying to give it up. I think they say you can have one cup. Uh, so tattoo. Her story is that she'd waited for him to come back. She put on my wig, some of my clothes. What? Pretended to be me. You have a wig? They talked. Are you wearing one right now? She'd enjoyed being me. What? <laughs> he said he wanted to be with me. What? Then he took out a present. Another mirror. Oh no. Just like the one he'd given her earlier. <laughs> what? That unique present. 
What? She went crazy, smashed the mirror. They argued, screamed. He hit her. Whoa. So she grabbed a piece of the mirror and just swung it round. She cut his throat clean open. What? She only meant to scare him off. Did you just confess? Did you just confess? I think we got him. I think we got him. I think we got him. Hold on, bro. I think we got him. I need I need to hear a little bit more about this mirror. What's, what's, she can't remember. How did you see that happen? I like, put it somewhere safe. Upstairs, I think. How? What? The fuck is going on, guys? Okay. What? Silver leaf? No. He normally silvers them properly. This mirror—it's supposed to look antique. The reflection isn't as good. Perfect mirror for someone who doesn't like to look at their own reflection. What? Is that the mirror right there? Silver leaf? No. What? <laughs> what did your wife do? And what did your wife do? She didn't clean you. Hmm? You think I killed Simon because he was having an affair? Uh -oh. Well, I didn't kill him. Uh -oh. I wasn't even there. Uh oh. I was in Glasgow worrying about whether my baby was still growing inside me. I mean, why would I kill Simon? I loved him! <laughs> wait, 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 I'm not gonna kill- I- I almost didn't catch that. She said she was having an affair. I mean, what if they were crazy? You hear about these crazy people all the time. I mean, why would anyone who knew Simon want to kill him? I mean, maybe that affair. Maybe he wasn't the only one he got prayed. Okay, hold up. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. An affair. Wait. What did your wife do? Because he was having an what affair. 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 An affair? Huh. Simon wasn't having an affair. Flies! Liar! We're naming this one Liar. That's exactly what we're gonna name it. Liar! You're a liar! <laughs> You're reaching here. And oh, I don't know why. No. I've never cheated on anyone. I've never taken anything from anyone. Simon's dead. Hmm. But I have my baby to care for. Stress. Why are you trying to make me sad? Why are you so obsessed with sex and affairs? Ah, I got a headache too. Just hearing. You ah. cheated on your wife. Oh. Is this your thing? Ah. I think this is right. When uh, she's like, and did your wife kill you? She didn't try and kill you, did she? All right, hold up. I added that one, right? What did your wife do? Okay. Um, Simon is dead. <laughs> Yeah. They've gone to bed feeling ill. Thinking it was flu or something. 
the neighbor called me I had to use my key to let them in we found them dead in their bed and they'd been there for days no one had noticed what? just awful it was so soon after my miscarriage oh I knew it the worst year of my life I'd been so happy to get married and after that it was just like fuck oh wow Miscarriage. How do you spell that? Miss Carriage. Okay. That's all that matters really. The baby. <laughs> Simon's dead. But the baby. The baby. That's how he will live on. Our baby. Okay. The baby. Uh is this her on the fucking computer just looking for all the evidence to, to fucking dump it out? Like, what are we doing? It was supposed to be a secret. Just because Simon is dead, it doesn't mean I have to give up all his secrets. Secrets! It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to Simon. No one murdered my husband because he cheated his expenses for a romantic weekend in Oxford. 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 Murdered. Uh, add to the session. Okay. It was supposed to be a secret. Secret. A Just secret. because Simon a is dead. All right, secret. And then what is this? Rehearsed. Rehearsed. You ask me the same question, you'll get the same answer. I <laughs> said so this seems rehearsed. Is that your evidence? Of course, I thought about what happened then. It's all I've thought about. My husband is dead. I'm gonna put I killed him. <laughs> I killed him. I killed him. No. Okay, um, lie. Yeah, lies. Yes. I'll take a lie detector test. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay. I've never taken a lie detector test before. Does it really work? Of course. They're using it on you. Why wouldn't it work? <laughs> My name. That was the only question I failed. <laughs> Whoa. Your lie detector works. What? Name. Name. What? What is your name? My name. What is your name? He saw me singing one of my shows. You sing? Pure chance. Not sure I remember what he was even doing there. Afterwards, I had a drink at the bar and he came over and we got talking. I knew who he was. Obviously I knew who he was, but he didn't know who I was. Hmm. He was fascinated by the likeness. He guessed my name from my tattoo. <laughs> Told me it was a palindrome, like that would impress me. I enjoyed talking to him. This is when you first met Simon? It was amazing to be able to sit and interact and talk to him after all this time. Oh my God. He didn't tell me he was married. What? I'm not sure what he was thinking. Huh? He later told me it was like he was dreaming. A waking dream. I'm confused. Miscarriage. Let's go back to the miss. Okay, here we go. No. I lost the baby. I had a miscarriage at eight months. Oh my god. We carried on living at Simon's parents until that was only a few months after. Damn. 
Then my parents died. Damn! It was the worst year of my life. The baby died and your parents the died? And then oh my the god. Parents. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I was infertile. I thought I was. They told me I was infertile after the miscarriage because of complications. That's her. You can't tell me that's not her staring at this damn screen. Hannah had a miscarriage. This was late in the pregnancy and it left her infertile. Why are you speaking in third person? But what? the universe had corrected its course. What? We were aligned again. What? But. Hannah and Simon were still living with his parents. They were married. Who are you? Simon had a job at the Glaciers now. Eric had given him a full-time position after he left school. Who's Eric? And then... Real. Just put up so much shit when I put in real. He has a wallet. A huge, silly thing. So what leather. the fuck? Real leather, I think. He packs it full of stuff. Business cards, receipts, lottery tickets. He always carries it in his back pocket. I think that's why he's got a bad back. He sets the discs. I haven't seen it, so he must have it on him. He always takes it out of his back pocket before when he comes in, if he's in the house. Hmm. Okay. I don't feel like there's anything too useful in that one. His body. It didn't look real. And his throat. Oh my god. It looked like his throat had been cut. Has these glasses, has these thick glasses. It doesn't always work. What? Glasses. Sorry, sorry. The picture, the way it's drawn, just. Reminded me of the books we used to read as children. Oh, the doll. I read those fairy tales over and over. And they were so real to me. Rapunzel was my favourite. My brain is just full of it. How many of these in colour? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna follow that lead. Well, she wasn't my real mother, but she raised me. Do you want to hear the story? It's a real life fairy tale. I think her mother. So that's when she tells the story mm. about her mother, her mother in the midwife. When I was eight, mother died. Damn. She slipped down the stairs. Damn. It was an accident. Was it though? I read a diary at that point and I knew she wasn't my real mother. Damn. So I burned the diary that day and I left. Wow. You Walked ran out away? And across the street. And went to your real mom's? What? Huh? Mother? Okay. There's a girl and she's staring out of the window. She's sad. Did you smile? She's trapped. She's here. She's looking out the window because her mother won't let her out. So you're talking about the midwife, maybe? Maybe that's what they're talking about, that midwife thing. I would have been a good mother. I was young, but I would have been a good mother. <laughs> she was a girl, by the way, the baby. We were going to call her Sarah. Mm. Simon wanted to call her Ava after his Nana, but I didn't want her to have a symmetrical name. Ooh, why? 
Cause isn't that the name that you chose? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. <sighs> okay, she's lying. What? I know she's Hannah is not her real name. Uh. Okay, let's. Okay. Um, doll. House. Yes. I inherited it from my parents, so it made sense to move back. Me and Simon. Mm -hmm. Felt like going back to old ways before the pregnancy. Reminded me of being a girl, a dollhouse in the attic, old things. Mm. We didn't sleep in my parents' bedroom for a long time. Okay. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but it was another year before we started sleeping there. The legal stuff was completed very quickly. Had to move back in with Simon. Very good Simon who we coughed to help with the move. He decorated, modernized wallpaper curtains. Hannah insists the attic we left as it was, dollhouse and all. Mm. Simon never went up there. Were you in the attic? What are you talking about? Why do you know all this? Could the hairs have come from somewhere else? I mean, could they? We have a lot of dolls in the attic. There's a Rapunzel doll with long blonde hair. Could they have come from there? Whoa, hair. Hair. Why is she playing guitar? What kind of hairs? You want me to play something? I'm not the world's greatest guitar player. Okay? Probably needs tuning. No? It's okay. How about a traditional ballad? It should be right up your street. Sisters so came walking by the sea. Hmm. Oh, wind and the rain. The eldest one pushed the other one in. Oh, the dreadful wind and rain. So they both had a love for the captain's son. This is but tied to the story. Cared for the youngest one, all the dreadful wind. Oh, the eldest envied her sister fair. Oh, the wind and the rain, with a pretty little face and her long blonde hair. All oh, the dreadful wind and rain. When she tried to drown the Eve. She did it. She had to kill her. I mean, she killed him. So she did. floated up and she floated down. This is not a real song. Okay. 
hate Eve. Hate. Kill her. She did it. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Alright, let go. Let go. Okay. Um, she's being chased. Okay. Um, they're trying to catch her because she did something bad. I guess she broke the rules. Okay. What rules or did she break? Maybe they think she did something bad. Maybe it wasn't her fault. She looks scared, not guilty. Mm. Maybe it was mistaken identity. Mm. Maybe you're taking someone else's identity. Mm. Did they catch her though? I don't know. Trying to catch her right now. Trying to catch her. All right. I like this there one. There were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins. Magical. We were the princesses. Was Eve your sister? Wait a minute. We had a post on Princess Diana from the newspaper up in our attic. Had a pride of place. And underneath we used to put all our special things. When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we felt for her. Her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. Okay, wait, wait. Um, divorce, divorce, no, I help, help, okay, help. Sure, yes, of course, if that would help. Will you phone the house to let me know when you want to come round? Then I can make sure that I'm there. Whoa, why do they want to call the house? No, he doesn't keep a diary. That's my thing. Hmm. I've kept one, well, as long as I can remember, since I was a girl. Mm hmm. Helps make sense of my day. Okay. And when you're forced to put something into words, it just gives you perspective. Everyone's on the same page. <sighs> okay, what? Diane is really nice. She helps out with the glaziers, organises the Christmas party, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. They have two kids. Mm. Really sweet kids. Right. She used to look out for me when I worked there. Wait, Diane? Diane is really nice. She helps out with the glaziers, organises the Christmas party. Who's Diane? Uh, Eric was like an uncle to him. They were pretty close. They spend a lot of time with each other, especially when they have to go to conferences. Have you met his wife, Diane? Eric and Diane. Make sure I add that to the session. Yeah, that's Simon's watch. Mm. It was a gift from Eric. He got it this year. Hmm. It was a wedding anniversary gift. Steel. Huh. It would have been Diane who chose it. She has really nice taste. That time. You must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. Not really. He would go to the pub. He had his drinking buddies there, but no one ever really came back to the house. Sometimes Eric, his boss, and his wife would come over for dinner. That would be us returning the favour. Diane is a really good cook, into her trendy ingredients. And the last time Simon cooked something off Master Chef, he got the recipe off Seafax, and I did my Lloyd Grossman bit, commenting from the sidelines. 
I had to find fennel from the supermarket. Have you ever eaten fennel? Oh, but I thought I, I thought I watched this already. What? Simon and Eric arguing? No, I can't imagine they'd be arguing. They get on so well. Unless it was something to do with work. Maybe Simon was being too much of a perfectionist. But I don't know. You should ask Diane. Why well, ask Diane? Let me see, Eric. <laughs> He was wearing um, a shirt, with a blue turtleneck shirt and jeans. Mm. He has a watch. It's a really nice one. That was a gift from his boss, Eric. Mm. He had his coat, a long grey duffel coat, like pants and bear. Uh, he would have taken that with him. It's not in the house. Yes, there's a car that we share of Cavalier and a van he uses for work. It's owned by Eric, but we look after it. Both of them are there now, parked on the street. I'm not sure about the keys for the van. I can Defeat look a back. boss with the poor kids, what? Huh? Add that to the... They're saying, she was saying something about a car. Yes, that would be in his wallet. It's a visa. A silver one. He doesn't like to spend money he doesn't have, so he usually pays with cash. But mm. Eric convinced him to get one. Yeah. Eric, let's see, fight. <laughs> Struggle. Throat. That's the mirror, right? That's the mirror right there. In his throat. How? Okay, wait. I'm getting somewhere. Like I said before, it was three. Something like that. I walked in. Okay. We're getting a story here. Saw Simon. Okay, saw Simon. What else? It was on the floor of the living room. Oh, shit! His throat had been cut. Oh my god. There was a lot of blood. Oh my god. Yeah, he was dead. Let's do this one. No, he doesn't have any tattoos. He has a scar down here near his stomach, past his hip. Cut himself with some glass. That was before, a long time ago. He looks just like the photo. Um, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. He takes them off with the camera. How do you know the scar? He leaves them to see properly. How, why'd she mention the scar, though? A newspaper or a menu in a restaurant. She could have caused that scar. Or watching TV. He likes TV. The scar. Why'd she mention a scar? Mother wanted me to grow my hair long, but I kept cutting it myself. I wanted to look like my reflection. She always had short hair when she was little. Mother would hide the scissors, but I would find a way. Cut it with a bread knife, something like that. My reflection would always leave her house and go on adventures, but I never could. Hmm. Mother taught me at home, and I had books and TV. Oh, TV was magical, but it was only on when it wanted to be, so... I spent a lot of time reading books. I don't care. We were obsessed with fairy tales. Not just the pretty, pretty ones, but... They are dark, real, felt like life. We are just brought in a library cell. The station is chasing paper, protecting the shining color. I want to flick to 
opinion captions or something. Peeling back the tracing paper and dressing the pictures. Rapunzel's hair is cut. The eagle plucks out his heart. The princess pricks her finger. Okay. Let's look up the house. It's cold in here. Damn. I wasn't in the house. I wasn't in the house. That's it? I wasn't in the house all of Friday night. After the argument, after Simon left, I left too. I was upset and I wanted to get away. So I took the car. Which car? Look at the time. Let's just take a look at the time right now. <sighs> Guys, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, let's put cheating. Caught. Caught. Let's put caught. Oh, yeah. After the kiss, the next time, he took me back to the house, to our parents' house. To their house. Oh! So, it was definitely him. <laughs> I sometimes think he wanted to get caught to prove to himself that we were different people. He told me about his marriage, told me how his wife was completely different to me. What? <laughs> I almost burst out laughing. What the fuck? He lied. Liar. like a story. A beginning, a middle, and an end. Hmm. I gotta, I gotta well, sit and analyze after this next clip. I really gotta she sit has and a analyze knife. so I can really break this uh, shit down. Um, she's been cooking. I want to break this shit I guess down. She's been cooking him his favorite meal. Um, she's his wife. And he's asleep and she doesn't want to wake him okay. because he's ill. Okay. That's why she's sad. Okay. Because he's ill and he might die. It's kind of a sad story, so I'm not sure how it ends. Yes, you do. You know exactly what happens. Sick. <laughs> I was living in the attic. You were living in the attic? Hot. No, 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 no. I was depressed. Was still pretty sick of the STD. S STD? I came down one morning and they were dead. What? They were in bed and both had been sick. They'd thrown up a lot. Suicide. And I slept through it. The police said it was the mushrooms they ate. The mushrooms they ate. Dad was a mushroom expert. He used to take us picking with him and he taught us how to recognize them. And there's no way he would have picked dead caps. But the police believe that's what happened. They never even looked in the attic. What? 
people are living in the attic. Um, excuse me. Suicide? No. I mean, he would never do anything like that. He is not the kind of person to do anything like that. I mean, to hurt himself? No. I saw. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this. A mobile phone? Oh, yeah. Come on. Well, guys, I'm giving this like another 30 minutes. Work. I can't remember the number. Oh, it's in the kitchen. I saw it plugged into its charging cradle. What? The phone? Give me something. Give me something to go on. I had spoken to Sam's parents on the phone. Yeah. I looked up for an early night and I suddenly had this thought. Yeah. I think it was something his mum had said. Mm, what did she say? She'd been speaking about old stuff. Sad stuff? Sad stuff. Okay, yeah, sad stuff. About when we lived there. About the baby. Huh. There's some boxes in the cellar, nursery stuff. Stuff we never needed, and I never had the heart to throw out. You were living in the attic, though. You never, I like, what is... that when I looked down there the week before, those boxes, that pile, was in the wrong place. I went cold all over. I went down there with a torch and went straight to the back, and that's when I saw the bin bags. Pulled them open, saw the body. I screamed and that's when I called the police. Mm. She's crying, I guess. She's sad because she thought she saw her husband with another woman. Mm. But it's okay because she finds out it wasn't her husband, it was his brother. What? And so it's fine. Uh, huh? Does Simon has a brother? Um, I hoover my dust every week. Maybe less. I once asked Eleanor how often I should dust, and she said, if people ask, tell them you do it once a week, but every few weeks it's okay. I think she was just trying to make me feel better. I mean, when I was there, she was hoovering every day. You know, ran an ordered house. You know how that generation is putting on a brave front. Okay. Hmm. She has secret stashes of cigarettes. Doug doesn't even know she smokes. Really? When I was there, I saw her. She has these sort of porcelain vases, ornamental, mm. next to the Reader's Digest books. Okay cigarettes inside okay and okay. she still has them i mean last time i was there i looked in a vase there was the a vase pack. <laughs> wow i mean all those years of marriage and she still has a secret like that oh, secrets i forgot about secrets okay <clears throat> yes the first time we saw each other it was strange we both realised at the same moment, I think. We must have seen each other before, but there was this instant. Cold, bro. When we first realised it wasn't a reflection. The reflection was staring back. I think I was five. It was my birthday. My reflection was wearing a party hat and waving. I knew what party hats were from books. And it suddenly occurred to me, today must be my birthday. I waved back and we just spent ages waving at each other and copying each other's movements.
When we weren't together, we'd send secret messages by tapping out a code that we'd learn from a book. Ha! Code. Ah! Not code. Some prisoners of war would use. Not code. That's what she was we doing on, on the table. Radiator pipes or the attic floor. <gasps> What the fuck does that mean? They were doing Morse code. Dad thought we had mice. But they couldn't find any. Bought a cat anyway. What? That's important as fuck. Um... It lasted about six months. I tried to carry on, but everything was different. Hannah insisted I not pretend to be her around Simon. Whoa. We didn't sleep with him. We didn't share him like the others. What? The rules had changed. Oh my God. Me living in the attic had become weird in a way it hadn't been before. What? Why are you even in the attic? Pretend. Okay, you got me. I'll confess. We were there. It was a dirty weekend. Simon was going to expense it, pretend it was a business trip. I used a made up name. We stayed at the hotel, had room service. Didn't leave the room. Had a great view of the river, and you could hear the church bells. Like you said, it was very romantic. Got less than twenty minutes left, guys. I don't know what um I don't. Uh, Simon and her were having an affair. Love. Okay, here we got some new stuff. Thanks. Please find Simon. I love him so, so much. So Simon was missing, and then they find she found him. Simon was missing. I think she found no. him. No. I mean, it was everyone loves Simon. He was so nice to everyone. He loves me. He loves me. Chit chat. SB, how's it going down there? You done? No. <laughs> okay. I'll hang out a bit longer. Buzz me when you're ready. Oh, shit. Oh, so I can basically... I can basically, uh... I can... I can finish up pretty much. Okay. So we're on, my, we're on our own time now. Cute. You must love them very much. What ages are they? Children? Children. Do you have children? <sighs> so long. At the Glaciers. I worked there some weekends and someone had a part-time job there too. That was Eric's generosity. He was always good at helping out other people's children. Simon was quiet, more thoughtful than the other boys. Even then, he had a sense of craftsmanship. It wasn't always rushing stuff. Boys that age are just running around like headless chickens most of the time. Okay. Yeah. Plus, he had that look. He looked like a fairy tale prince from one of my books. Mmm. Mm. All right, let, let's break this down, okay? Let's break this down real quick, okay? First off, she has been lying about who she really is. Middle, she 
confirms that Simon was gone, or she she lied about something. Her and Simon leaving to the weekend trip, so that was her. Third, she claims that she she found him dead. So maybe Hannah found out. Hannah found out. Type it. Type it in. Type it in. Found. Yes! No. The parents decided there would be a wedding. And after the wedding, Hannah moved in with his parents. There was no way I could follow. So we were separated again. Wait, what? I stayed in the attic. It was hard. It was like I suddenly didn't exist. What? I would sneak out, but in case anyone recognized me, I started wearing a wig. <gasps> Hannah and I would meet up in the park. Whoa. I was trying to get pregnant. But I couldn't. I mean, I couldn't do it with anyone we knew, so it was sex with strangers. What? Drunk guys I'd met in clubs, in parks, and alleyways. I was 17. What? What? It felt like I was being punished. What was she? But it was Hannah who had betrayed us. Betrayed? I had to stop when one of the guys gave me an STD. Oh my god, I forgot about this. When we met up, it was disturbing. For the first time, my reflection, she didn't look like me. She was fatter, flushed. If anything, I was getting skinnier. I had a hearty look sometimes. We talked about what to do. Was it time to become our own people? I mean, that seemed like the right thing to do, but neither of us wanted it. We agreed that her and Simon would get their own place as soon as possible, and then I could move in. What? And that was the plan. Start with all that Rapunzel stuff. Do you need me to do that card again? What card? What? Wait, what? Mm. Yes, this is it. He made it himself. It's a special one off. He made it and decorated it. That's his thing. Where do you find it? No. Um, I was 15. Carl was older. Carl. 17, I think. I was really into him. Lots of drunken teenage sex. We did it in a church once. Yeah, just Stupid. disgusting. So he got tired of us and... We split up after about six months. It was sad, but those early experiences, they help you realize who's really important to you, you know? Family. So 
sex. Oh my god, there's so much stuff about sex. Really? You're going to ask me about my sex life? I mean, isn't that private? Okay. Luckily these are short. Are you married? How is your sex life? Sex life. So, our sex life is probably fairly average for a couple after 10 years of marriage. No, you're talking to the wrong person if you think I'm some kind of slut. If you think I'm the kind of person that would have had sex with all those guys. But you did. Slut. Let's see. All right. The STD. Let's address it. What'd you get? <sighs> um. Kill myself. Okay, good. That's not in there. Um. Yes! Oh man! If one of us got hurt, the other one would have to be hurt too. Oh wow! A grazed knee, a bruise. When I lost my tooth first, we had to pull our harness to match. What? Once, I slept with a boy who was seeing another girl. The girlfriend came up to Hannah the next day and punched her in the face. Uh -huh. Got her a huge black eye. Uh -huh. That night, she had to do the same to me. Wow. She almost went too far. I couldn't see out of that eye for days. Golly. She snuck a frozen piece up for me from the kitchen. Mm. So much of our bodies were synchronized anyway. We started our period on the same day. When our childhood diseases, Wait. stomach bugs, nits. What? Twin and them. We're gonna call that one. That's what that one is, for sure. I love these. I love these. These are the ends. Mom and Dad had never had any reason to notice. They were always busy. If Hannah was eating a lot, they didn't mind. She didn't put on any weight. That girl has a healthy appetite. Um, if they heard us talking in the attic, they just thought it was Hannah playing one of her games, and that Eve was our imaginary friend. Once, she was already up and dressed and ready to go to school and I snuck down for a piss. Mum saw me in my underwear, she went mad. Get dressed this instant! So I ducked into our bedroom <laughs> and seconds later, out came Hannah, dressed and ready. My mum was amazed. So wait, were they twins? Differences? She's a better driver than me. She passed the test for us. I tried to take it and nearly crashed the car. Oh, so you're not yeah, a good but driver. You can't rely on confidence to get you through everything. Mm, she is the shy one. She was especially shy around boys. Mm. If Hannah liked a boy, I would have to pursue him. It was that way with Carl. Hannah met him first. She had such a crush. This I is weird. My virginity after a night that his band had played at. It got difficult. When I was with Carl, we would have sex, but Hannah couldn't. Couldn't let him see she was a virgin. Hmm. She had lots of excuses. After a while, we decided that I should take Hannah's virginity. What? It's not that different to the bruise. How did, tooth, what, how did you do that? Grays. What do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. We used a hairbrush. Oh my god. Where's the end of this clip, bro? After that, we took <laughs> turns, though. I was always the one who seduced the boys. Until Simon. <gasps> They've been sharing the whole time! Yo, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait! Wait a minute, bitch! 
are these niggas twinning in the interviews? No. No. Ain't no way. Hannah was so smitten with Simon. She started getting jealous. Didn't want to share. Even the first date. Have they been we twinning in the interviews? The old we both went. Kept changing places in the toilet. Have y'all been changing places in the in this? Swapping clothes. Must have thought we had terrible bladder problems. The next date, it was my turn. Um, at the end, I let him kiss me. But that was it. We didn't want another car on our hands, and the Ouija board had said to hold back. Whoa, what the? After that, it was Hannah's turn, and she slept with him. Broke the rules. Deliberately broke the rules. She wanted to be the first to sleep. I mean, that's when she got pregnant. From that one time. Wait a minute, bro. Look at these videos. Look at these videos. No. I mean, it was... Everyone loves Simon. He was so... And then look at this one. Did it pass? Sorry. I don't... I think they're... I think they're twinning. Where's hair? Okay, to the right. Hair's so a part, part right here to the right, right? Part to the right, part to the right. 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 There's a part to the right. Maybe I'm reaching. Let me reach. Who am I? Take turns. Just became our way of life. We would swap places and take it in turns to do things. And we were very careful. Whoever had been out that day would come back and write a detailed diary so that we were on the same page. What? We had a list of rules that said what we could and couldn't do in any given situation. What the fuck? It was exhaustive. No. We lived a second life through those rules. No. Rules for things that could only ever happen inside our imaginations. Are you serious? And we would consider all the permutations of future events and agree rules to walk our way through them. Twins, 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 twins. Twins? <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? What? What? Twins? <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? What just happened? Did I do that? Twins. What did he ask you? Are you out of your mind? Twins. I guess you could call it that, but we were both, both happy to get We couldn't afford our own place. Simon dropped out of school, went full-time at the Glaziers. That was Eric's generosity. 
We moved in with his mum and dad. They had a spare room for us and the baby if it came. I got a job to contribute. Yes, my name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. My name? That was the only question I failed. <laughs> Your lie detector works. He saw me singing one of my shows. I think it was that time, the first time, at the house, in his bed, that I got pregnant. Amazing, right? This fucking magic spell. And they say lightning doesn't strike twice. I didn't tell him. I missed three periods. I had pretty irregular periods anyway, but three. I had always thought we were infertile. Both of us. I didn't tell him. I just waited. Hannah and I were meeting for our birthday and I told her because I thought she would be happy for us both. I think she was. And the time they said it was poison, 
food poisoning. I mean, I felt so guilty. If I'd still been at home, maybe I could have done something. I don't know. Yes. I thought about telling Hannah. I felt guilty after the kiss. But then it began to feel like this was the way it should be. Sharing. Like we had before. He never mentioned her to me. There was the silent with me and the silent with her. It was almost like it was a different silent. Thanks. No sugar. Sweet enough as it is. Okay. I parked up in the street. It was busy, so I had to park down the end of the road. Walked up, knocked on the door, no answer. I can unlock the door. The main lock was unlocked. You can tell because the key doesn't turn when you try to turn it to the left. I walked in. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes in the shoe rack. I shouted out. Um, I walked straight into the kitchen because he usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. But he wasn't there. I touched the kettle. It was cold. I looked quickly in the living room. Nothing. So I walked upstairs to the bedroom and he wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. I had a shower. The phone rang whilst I was in the shower. I didn't answer it. I think it was Eric. Then I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, though I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. This time I spoke to him. Then I called Wagner and And then I decided to come and see you. Oh, okay. Um, I parked up on the street. It was busy, so I parked down the end of the road. I walked up to the house. I knocked on the door. No answer. I took my keys out of my bag, unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. I could tell because the key wouldn't turn when I tried to turn it to the left. I walked in. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes on the shoe rack. Um, I shouted out for him. I walked straight into the kitchen. He usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. He wasn't there. I touched the kettle. It was cold. Um, I looked quickly into the living room. Nothing. I walked upstairs to the bedroom. He wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. And then I had a shower. Whilst I was in the shower, the phone rang. I think it was Eric, his boss. I didn't answer it. Then I came out and I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, but I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. I spoke to him. Then I called Simon's parents. And then I decided to come and see you. That enough? No. I've had enough coffee for today, thanks. Glass of water. So I moved out. 
got a small bed set. Got my tattoo to mark the occasion. I was singing in the bar in the evenings. So I had some money, enough money to cover my rent. And I've been doing something similar ever since. I haven't put down any roots. I don't exist. This other person doesn't exist. I don't know what the blonde wig is, but it could be anything. Have you looked at the cat flap? Can you arrest someone who doesn't exist? Can you arrest someone who doesn't exist? Like I said, I think I was popping out to get something, ran out of something, had to grab something. I sometimes drive too fast. If you want, you can arrest me for that. Are you going to arrest me? No. They'd laugh you out of the building. A lawyer would make mincemeat of you. This is a nice of them. This is where you take people when it's time to arrest them. Yes. No lawyer. What are you going to arrest me for? I mean, yes, we have arguments, but you know, he never runs off. He always comes back, we make up. It's always that way. No, not drugs. I mean, he drinks, but never very much. He goes to the pub and has one or two. Sometimes we go together. He drinks wine with food, but no, nah, he doesn't have any kind of drinking problem. I did. Well, we met when we were 17, both working at the glaciers. No, no cat. My parents had a cat before they died called Domino. It was this little black thing with white dots. And we never did anything about the cat flap, but if you were thin, you could maybe squeeze through it. No, they were shut. Most of the windows are really hard to open anyway. They're stifling in summer. They were painted over by my dad. Could have left a door open accidentally. There's a cat flap in the back door. Thank <laughs> you.
Domino. Um, he had this little bell around his neck to stop him from killing birds in the garden. And we used to write each other notes and put them in the bell and we could send them to each other. Mum found some of the notes once and she thought I was just writing to myself because our handwriting was identical. And we had our own words for things, so she didn't quite understand them anyway. Would have been a good mother. I was young, but I would have been a good mother. Bro, have I- I was muted the whole time?! Are you s- 
Hey guys, thank you guys for coming to the stream. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna break something real quick. Peace out, guys. You said not the whole time. Oh, oh, okay, good, 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 good. Wondering, uh, appreciate you for uh tuning into the stream. I'm sorry I couldn't see you the whole time. I was trying to trying to beat the game, you know. Uh, but um, yeah, I really wanted to post this, but it's all good. Whatever. Love this game. Ah. Oh. Thank you for staying and watching. Shit. Peace. Appreciate it. I think I'm going to uh, get on stream next time and just watch a video of like anything I've missed. You figure everything out? Hell no, I didn't figure everything out. I definitely didn't figure it out. I know she's a twin. I know she was lying the whole time. I know she um, she was like hiding with her sister with the basement and they've been sharing Simon and uh, basically I think she killed she killed she killed Simon. I know all the... Tell me! Let me know! Let me know the answers! Come on, bro. You are going down in honor. If you give me the answers, bro. If you give me the answers. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> what's your cash app? <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, they are twins. All right. Facts. Knew that. What else? Let me know something else. Talk to me. Talk to me, wondering. I knew they were twins for a cool minute. Florence stole Eve. She stole her? She stole her? I thought she just kind of gave her, but she stole her. Oh, that's what the witch fable was about. Because she was like, she was hiding her. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. What else? What else? What else? Twins. Florence stole Eve as a baby. What else? Let me know something else. That's fucking crazy. Eve killed Florence by pushing her down the stairs and went across the street and hid her in 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 and Hannah hit her in that what what are you fucking serious I, I I figured she got in the attic but I thought the parents knew so the parents never knew that she was in the attic bro are you serious what the fuck oh my god Yo, yo, then they shared one life. Eve loved it. Getting out from Florence's, it was like a fairy tale to her. But Hannah was bitter about losing half of her life. Parents never knew. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Hannah gets pregnant and married and moves out. So Eve never got pregnant? Or did she actually end up getting pregnant? I figured one of them definitely got pregnant and she moved out. Oh my god, bro. So are both the... So are... Yo, another question. Keep telling me the story, but... Were Eve poisons the parents after Hannah's miscarriage? Eve killed the parents? I knew one of them killed the parents. I knew it. So Hannah will inherit the house and move back in? Oh! Oh! They're back at it! Oh, shit! Oh my god, bro. Oh... Uh, yo, yo, yo! Keep telling me that Hana kicks Eve out when she does. <laughs> what? What? And so, um, were Hana and Eve switching in the interview, in the interrogation? Have they been switching the whole time? Eve gets a tattoo and blonde wig to celebrate independence. <gasps> so she was still in the attic with the blonde wig. Oh my fucking God. Oh shit. Let me know though, were they switching in the in the interrogation? Have they been switching the whole time? Starts playing guitar in bars to to pay rent in her new place. Yep, yep, yep. He said, yes! Oh, oh shit! Oh bro, I'm, this is getting juicy. This is getting juicy. Hold up. Let me uh let me let me set the tone. Uh, if I could get like a fireplace, just a just something to set the tone right now, bro. Ten years later, Simon walks into a bar where Eve is playing. Ten years later, what? Ten years? God damn. Uh, Simon never knew Hana had a twin. Oh my god, they played this new Simon like a fiddle, bro. This. They start an affair. Eve gets pregnant. Oh, so this is what she meant when she actually got pregnant. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Goddamn. On their birthday, Eve tells Hannah 
Anna that she's pregnant, but not by who? <laughs> oh, that dirty bitch. She's a dirty bitch. Keep going, bro. Keep going. This is juicy. This is too juicy. Oh, man. This is juicy. Hannah says she would move in with her and Simon, but Eve says wait. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, my God. But then Hannah does tell him that she has a pregnant that she has a pregnant twin. And from Simon's reaction, she realizes he is the father. They fight. Simon leaves and goes to the bar. Oh, what? So he went to the rock. Oh, wow. So that's what they actually fought about. Wow. 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 Yo, bro. Hannah calls Eve over, confronts her about the affair. Hannah snatches Eve's wig. Eve leaves and dries the glass glow. Wow. Hannah puts on Eve's wig and waits for Simon to come back. What? What? No fucking way. You tell when he does, he gives her the second mirror and tells her he wants to leave Hannah for her. Oh my god. No way. This is fucking insane, bro. This is crazy. This is absolute madness. He, But it is Hannah, so she loses her shit. Breaks the mirror. They fight. And with a piece of the mirror, she slashes his throat. Next day, Eve comes back, finds her holding the body. Wow. That's fucking crazy, bro. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. They decide the baby is the most important thing, so they hide the body in the basement. <laughs> what? Are you serious? They hid the body? I knew they were hiding something the whole time. I just didn't know they take turn going into the cops, starting with Eve pretending to be Hannah to hide Hannah's big bruise <gasps> because she fought. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God, bro. Yo, this is... This is crazy. What the fuck? Wow. And so that's basically like what's The cops realize they are different because of the bruise, the tattoo, the three sets of fingerprints in the bedroom, Eve getting a speeding ticket while at work, Hannah calling Simon from phone from home while Simon was with Eve in Oxford and so on. So the cops caught the cops caught up. The cops were not fucking dumb. They were not twiddle they think they got they they saw through the twiddle deed and twiddle dumb shit. So so who ends up getting arrested? Eve? Eve ends up getting arrested, right? Because Eve never really existed. Hannah probably kills herself before Eve confesses. Eve thinks she won't be charged, but she is wrong. Wow. And that's the end, right? Wow, bro. Wow. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Fucking bonkers. Wow.
you, Sarah, are born in prison and you have to get access to these videos to learn what the fuck was up with your parents. Oh my god, bro. Oh my. Yo. Thank you, Wandering. Wandering. Star. Stellar. Explanation and synopsis of what this whole game story plot was about. Chef's kiss. Mwah. Excellente. You, you're... You're you're going in the Hall of Fame. I'm gonna take a picture of this just just to remember, bro. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Dap me up. Dap me up, bro. Hold up. Let me go to let me go to full screen. Let me get the dap up, bro. Oh shit. Look at the shit right here. Cheers. Hold up, let me see. Uh Dap me up. Hold up, hold up. Let me let me fix this shit, bro. Let me fix it. Let me fix this. Turn turn off karma key. Uh oh. Put yeah, put this above. Thanks, bro. Wondering you did a great fucking job of explaining what the fuck we just played. Good fucking shit. Aw oh, man. Subscribers. Yeah, man, we got to give it up for bro. Give it up for bro. Wandering. Stellar. Fucking stellar. Everybody, thank you guys for coming to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later in the next gameplay. Fucking fire! We finished another game. We beat shit around here. We beat fucking video games, nigga. All right. Peace out, guys.